How you guys doing? My name is Will Gazzotti, Allergy Figueroa. I'm the CEO and founder of Vitech Audio Studios. We're a school for music and audio production located in the state of New Jersey. I'm doing this tutorial to showcase a new alternative ways to create drum kits within Logic Studio. I'm actually using the latest version of Logic 10.3, but this feature was introduced in Logic 10.2. All right. So traditionally, when you design your own drum sounds within Logic, many people used either Ultra Beat Synthesizer or the EXS24 Sampler. Okay. In this form, we're going to use one of the things that was introduced, like I said before, and 10.2, the Drum Machine Designer. All right. So I already have my library open. I'm going to go over here and select Electronic Drum Kit. And within here, I'm going to select Drum Machine Designer. Okay. And the first thing I want to select right from here is where it says Empty Kit. I have a whole bunch of options from the pre-recorded sounds that come with the Logic Library that I can pick from. Because sometimes when we work within the program, there's certain drum kits that have maybe one or two sounds that we like and so forth. So you can consolidate them and create one single drum kit that contains all the sounds that you love within Logic. What I'm going to be doing is doing it for the purists who is into creating their own drum sounds from scratch. And um, I'm going to be using a drum kit that I designed myself, which I'll be giving away as part of this tutorial. Okay? So I have an empty kit. First thing I'm going to do is click over here with this drum machine, just to show you what the drum machine looks like. And one of the things that I notice when I open up this window is that it reminds me of battery by Native Instruments, battery three at least. Okay, we have these different options. Okay, these are our cells, and this is where we go to put our individual sounds within this drum machine. Okay, right now I don't have any sounds. Okay, when you click on the keyboard, these are going to light up because they're going to match the notes that you're triggering within Logic. Okay, so now I need to bring in some sounds. So traditionally, you can either sample sounds from records, slice them up into pieces, or if you have pre sounds that like one of your friends sent you, you can put it right into here. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to be in my media library. On the project, I'm going to select audio file, add audio file, and I already have a drum kit that I'm going to be giving away as part of the tutorial, the ideology drum kit. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is select the first sound on the top, scroll down, shift click the last sound, and then I'm going to select add all here. All right, then I'm going to hit done. And all of these sounds are going to be loaded right into my project bin. All right, I'm going to option click to close those dot dialog box and as you can see I have all my sounds in here okay now I'm gonna start with the first sound on the top and I'm gonna bring it into one of these little cells right here okay so as you can hear we have a sound that we put right in here okay now you're gonna see an option from the logic library with the kick snares everything is separated and you can bring some of those sounds into here as well if you want to work with them I'm using my own original sounds that I created so I have my kick drum here okay you can load these sounds just by clicking and dragging okay I have an 808 here all right and one of the things that I could do with this particular sound sometimes you want to have um, variations of the 808 drum so you could bring in the same sound twice and to make them sound different I have parameters down here that can allow me to change the pitch. So I'm going to change the pitch of this particular sound right here. See that? I can make it higher. All right. I can also add a little reverb to that if I wanted to, right from here. All right. I like that. Okay. And I can mess with the stereo image right from here as well. I wanted to. All right. Okay, cool. So I'm going to be bringing in additional sounds in here. Let's bring this snare. Put it here. All right. Bring in a crash cymbal. Have another kick. This kick, I'm going to definitely um, add another version of this kick. Okay. I'm going to put it into here. All right. So we have a little kick here. All right, kick the 808 low. Okay, cool. I like that. So let's bring it in again. This one I'm going to pitch down. A little bit lower. All right. 
get a little distortion. You can lower the volume on that as well. You see that? So it changes completely how it sounds, okay? You can do a little uh, EQ right here. So you're changing the way that that kick drum sounds, okay? All right, beautiful. I'm going to fill up the rest of these these cells real quick. All right? You got to do one by one, unfortunately, but that's how it works, okay? All right, so we got the sounds going in here. All right, I'm just going to fill this up for you guys real quick. Let's do that one. I'm going to do another version of these snaps as well. These, I can make them higher or lower. I like that, okay? And I'm going to add a lot of reverb to these. And I'm going to do a low cut. EQ on that. Mess with the attack a little bit. A little high cut filter. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. And I can turn up the volume on them so they can hit a little harder. All right, beautiful. So you can put up to 32 sounds in here. I just filled up this section with 16. You can click over here. It's an additional 16 sounds that you want. Now, the big thing is you want to be able to use these drum kits when you're working on music, okay? Different times, not on just one project. So we want to save a copy of this. So I'm going to click on drum machine over here again. All right. And I have the empty kit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save. And when I hit save, all right, it's going to allow me to save it. I'm going to name it Ideology Drum Kit or Ideology Kit. I'm going to hit save. And one of the things you're going to notice, we have this folder here now that comes up that wasn't there before, user patches. All right. And if you're from the old school, you know that patches mean sounds within a synthesizer. And I have the ideology kit, which can be used as many times as I want. And I can go in there and re-edit those sounds. And you can use it to create any music. So I'm going to be giving this drum kit away. I'm going to attach a link to this video so you guys can download this kit. All right. When you guys get a chance, go to www.itechaudio.com and support the movement. Talk to you soon. Take care.